everyone, James Star053 here, and welcome back to Okami. In the last episode, oh boy, three hours of having to deal with the Demon Lord Ninetales. Yeah, that's all I'm saying, because three hours, three hours in Ryoshima Coast to finish it. We know us we're back in... What's it called? Central Field? Yeah, Central Field. A lot's changed. There's lightning over there that we can now use. Speaking of which, I've actually done a lot of grinding off camera. Let me show you. Look at my health. Off camera, after finishing Real Shima Coast, I did whatever I could to get as many collectibles as I could to give myself more of a beefy... I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself stronger. Also... Where is it? I got the water tablet, which allows us to walk on water, and an ink pot with a golden... Wait, what is this called? Gold ink pot. Wait. This increases our restoration for ink. So in this episode, we're going to head up to that little spire up above. That you see with where the lightning's at. You know what? Nighttime feels like a pretty appropriate time to go up there. Yes, I'm gonna get that first. Oh, crystal. So... I want to get in a suitable position. serves me right, we're entering the closing parts of the game. Like, we're hanging to the last section. Well, mainland section. Camoy. Camo. Camoy. Camoy. I don't know. It's either one. Brr. Is it cold here or what? How can anywhere be so darn cold? I know Camoy is the north, northernmost part of Nippon, but come on! I don't remember it even snowing this hard before. Listen, Ami. I'm gonna hunker down in this fur coat of yours. You try to find us some shelter from this nasty blizzard. I really like the sound of of snow when you jump. <laughs> so you can't go that way. Say point.
it's all the way down here. Here. Give me PTSD! Looks like he needs business!
by those demons. Yes, I speak of the twin demons, Letchku and Nechku. They've been imprisoned at the twin summits of Izofuji, but they suddenly broke free one day and began their deadly assault upon the land of Kamoi. The snowstorms grew more intense, transforming Kamoi into a frozen wasteland. Those demons are back! Many of our tribe have been killed by their relentless attacks. It was as if they roamed our lands in search of something. But they mercilessly slaughtered all the Olina they came across. The good earth is losing its power and its soul. Without these gifts to the gods, Kamoi would become uninhabitable. I must slay those wretched demons now, before it's too late. What about the villagers? They should be battling the cold and that blast down from me. He's a hoodie. After all, our village lies at their base. It's only a matter of time before Kamoi becomes an icy tomb. An icy tomb? Then why are you doing out here with that guardian sword? Why do you bring it out of the village? Did I not say that time to use the sword has come? You've heard of the prophecy of salvation, have you not? The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Kutone, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means that when this sword glows silver, riding the village of ridding the village of this abominable blizzard will be child's play. The sword's gonna start glowing! But Kutune will not wake until it has tasted more monster blood. 
the, I'll continue slaying the foul beasts, whoever they may be. So Katone and Lights are a way to victory. Oh, I got perfect. Okay, I'll take that extra yen. It appears the blizzard's lame a bit. I don't know when the demons will launch another terrible blizzard, but now would be your best chance to flee to the village. Wait a second, Oki! I can't believe that Chief let you take that sword! I mean, he tells my hind ones for just touching that darn thing! I already told you, the time to wield it has come. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens when Katone, the guardian sword, glows silver. It means that when the sword glows silver, bring the village of this abominable blizzard will be child's play. But today will not wait until it tastes more monster blood. So I'll continue slaying the foul beasts wherever they may be until Kutune's lights are way to victory. Did you just say that? Man. So I see there's a curse zone up ahead. Break apart? So we're gonna have to find a guardian tree. It seems like this is the. Oh, it's you! Oh, it's you again, Gucci! Hey! Aren't you? I know it, you're that Master Bowman! The apple guy! What are you doing all the way out here in this nasty blizzard? Well, you see, I've been coming to realize something since setting off on my travels. It's my bow. It seems to bring about misfortune. So I decided to go far away where I couldn't cause any trouble. And what do you know? I end up all the way here in the north. Anyway, Gucci, why not take a bite and eat and rack a bit? I know exactly what this the game wants me to do. Zap! There we go! <laughs> what in the- Now my arrows bring on thunder? This can't be a coincidence. Doesn't seem like a curse either. This must be fate. This has to be a sign from the gods. It's my destiny to live and die with my arrows. All this time. I've been saying why I wanted to do big things. But I was really just traveling so I could have an easy life. Now I can see there's no such thing as an easy path. Now we need to devote yourself to mastering one thing. The gods have shown me my true path. The path of archery. So what are you going to do now? The time has come for me to stop being so whimsical. My real journey starts here and now. We must have some kind of strange link between us. It's only when you two are around that the gods show their hand. I'll never forget both of you. If we ever meet again, let's share a few apples together. Farewell, my friends. Double gun! What guy's gone? Well, he sure was all fired up. He had more than usual. Maybe he's finally found his reason to live. If only all of us could do that. Awaken!
Maybe we can come back here later. Oh, I had this one. Ignore that, ignore that little demon school. Oh, hi. Meat ears? Yes, you are. I had to kill one of you guys before, but they're a demon and they're a bad one. Don't take it to heart, please. Oh, it's you guys! What's this? Oh, another dojo! Give me that! I'd like to see what we can get. Look who's here. Greetings, my little wolf friend. What the? Not you again! Can you just pick a place to ride your dojo and stick with it? I've already explained myself, no? Be a lone isle, isle among the waves or, or the most frigid mountain peak. I forge a warrior's path throughout the land. Wow, you're one serious dude. Hey, here I thought you were laid back. The price really changes when you get down to business. Well, that's brought you here. Do you once again seek my tutelage in the fighting arts? Break objects that you couldn't before by tackling them. If you master Fleetfoot, damage enemies with this new with Actually have enough. Holy Eagle maneuvers will now damage enemies. Hmm. A third attack to your Yes! I like to learn that. So you once again choose to try your hand at the fighting arts. I suppose I have no choice. I'll do as you wish and allow you to enroll in my dojo. If I must warn you, I will pull back this time. Ah! Uh, woo! Rapidly in succession, so time it well. Repeat until you connect three consecutive blade hits. Fill the remote up and hold for a more powerful charge attack. Devastating attacks become possible with this technique. Place the enemy into ribbons, slash the enemy in two. Here's your technique to teach the evil ones a lesson. Well, do you understand? Yes. Very well then. I'll put you this technique scroll. I don't care. Just, just take it. Understand it with your body as well as your mind. Oh, God! Alright, so... One... Two... Three... Okay. Oh, I'd like to try it again. Not bad! Keep it up! Not quite! Put more energy in if I can get any of the other ones. But yeah, some of them look really nice. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. Hardhead. Brown Rage. You can master Golden Fury, add insult to injury with this. Flames and meat sub weapons do injury. Okay, these are, I guess these are like for attack power if we have both the same weapon in the inventory. Or Spirit Storm, further increase Rosary attack. I'm sure console people who play on Xbox One or something will have an easier time doing this counter dodge as usual. It may come in handy. There's one more that I would like to get that hard head. You really have to grind to get these abilities if you need them. Hard head. Let's see. Don't flinch, just swing the rear remote. Your head turns to steel. Not even iron boulders stay in your way. With practice, hard head will evolve and grow stronger. Be headstrong, don't let any of will stand in your way. Yes, I do. Let's see what it's like. So there's nothing in here, but I assume it's just... Do we get anything else? Like, could we get anything else before we go? Yeah, I like to upgrade my double jump. So it's more attack oriented as well. Who knows, it may come in handy. Alright. Holy Falcon is an evolved version of Holy Eagle. Press A to jump and press A again to double jump higher. Holy Falcon causes attack power to accumulate. That power changes the jump into an aggressive, powerful attack. Okay. Maybe we won't see an action here, but maybe when we, when we go into combat again. I think I'm happy with these. I know getting more combos would help, but... I think I, I can do that off camera. I like to see these guys. Huh? Is that you, doggy? Remember me? We played together back in the forest? Yes. Go, Car! I ain't ready yet, sorry. Car, you're all the way out here! I wanted to become a real man like Susano. So I took my dad's fishing pole and sailed on an epic journey. You know, I like the river, but it's nothing like the vast sea. It makes me realize just how insignificant my life was. Wow, you're no longer, you're no longer that crazy baby I met back in the Gate of Forest. Now that I think about it, you look more grown up too. <laughs> Do you really think so? I've seen a lot of Napoleon's great outdoors, but the vast icy sea of Kemoy is a far harsher environment than anywhere else. If I could prove myself equal to the harsh war in this year, maybe I could become a real man like Susano. There he is again, get back to nature with his fishing pole. And without line or bait to boot. Now I know why my dad chairs this pole. While holding my hands, I can hear Mother Nature herself speak. Hey doggy, just about 
How about we do some fishing? Just like old times. Watch. I'm gonna show you how I can do now. Yes. Why not? Yes, I know. <laughs> I forgot how ridiculous this noise was. Is. Oh, that's a cool, a clam. How the fuck did you catch clams? Or scallop? Whichever one. Low fish. <laughs> that face got me good. Oh, it's a fast one. Usually when they're fast, they usually means they're good ones. Okay, never mind. Let's try one more. Got some fish to sell at least. That's more money. Yes, that was a pretty big one. They really have some unusual fish out here in Camoy. Wait, look who we have here. I can smell you two a mile away. Okay, is that really you? Wow, just look at you. You really become something. But you're still as ugly as ever. I see I've become stronger, but Bokari and I have too. We have traveled so many roads and seen many things. But I suppose you may still best us in fishing or fighting. Your hobby? He's still dishing us up! Dishing out those half compliment of his! But you! Oh, I don't- I didn't know it's a chest. Give me that! Oh, this one's new! White pork clean pot? I may have said it wrong, so if I did, I'm sorry. You guys eat fish, right? Yes. Oh, I did it. Come out of that little brown. Etched glass. Oh, those are berries. All right, let's head over the other way. Can I help you where that tree is? No, I cannot. Oh! If I can get it. It's hard to do.
Mike knows Demon Face. Mike. Bring it up there. Please. Thank you. off camera. At least we know where it's at. I think I can... Yes, I can break it. this is another one of these places holy cow I am getting 
getting so much praise from this place.
what is this about? Wally's house. No monsters allowed. Hey, does this guy really think a science guy keep monsters out? Oh, oh, what have I done? If this carries on, Cowboy will be ruined. I have to do something to stop them. But I'll, I'm no match for those assassin monsters. But what am I going to do? Hey, Wolfie, what are you doing out in the blizzard? I envy you. You must have such an easy, carefree life. What do I, what I wouldn't give to be like you? I'm doomed to spend my days here, living in fear of those monsters. What's in you, young man? You might feel better if you just talk about it. Oh, you have a Ponko with you. A white wolf and a Ponko. That's like the old legend. This must be the will of the gods. They must have told you to come here and help me. Yeah, you're all wrong, young man. I'm not. I find that whole young man thing a little pat patronizing. I've got a proper name, you know. I'm called Wally. Yeah, the mask of a fish. <laughs> Listen to my tale, messenger of the gods. It all started just over a year ago. I was living in Wepkir, the village up in the mountains. It's home to Kutone, the divine sword that protects Kamor. Because the village elder always treated it with such respect, I couldn't help feeling curious. So one day I touched it. I only touched it a tiny, tiny little bit. Honest. Ever since then, I seem to be cursed with bad luck. My sandals broke. I was rejected by the girl I liked. I banged my toe countless times, and an icicle fell on my head. And on top of that, this awful blizzard came along. Now those assassin monsters are out in the wild trying to kill me! I didn't want to cause more trouble, so I came to live here. Well, I can't believe you survived this long all by yourself. So, did those assassin monsters do you? Well, it's very strange. You see, they're always staring at me from way off in the distance. I don't know what they're up to. They're trying to break me emotionally. Then they'll come in for the kill. You have to help me, Wolf! You have to get rid of them! See, here's a list with their names. Why is your a girl, young man? I think the gods play some kind of mark on the assassins. You'll definitely know where you'll see one. They're very wary, though. They only come out at night. Please get rid of them for me so I can sleep peacefully again. Yes. Keep this side quest in mind because I'll do it off camera, maybe. I think that's just for people who want to get side get um, side content out of the way. Alright, hit that. Over. What here is up here? Oh, what? Oh, you're bunnies. Here's web gear. Whoa! It's like the whole village has been frozen solid. I wonder if anyone's still alive.
600, good grief. If I accidentally barked and woke him up. <laughs> Whoops. Give us baby. Well, I wouldn't say it's useless because it's a. Uh, as far as I learned, it gives you a special item if you found all 100 of them. But it's useless by itself. Tiny. 
I think if Mary serves me right, this heads upwards. This must lead to Izo Fuji, a pair of sacred mountains. I bet the gates shut tight to keep the demons out. Elder. If you need something from the Elder, you must go through me. I'm Summit, Summickle, top warrior of the Oina, Oina tribe. I'm talking so fast. Sheesh! Who does this guy think he is? Well, at least we finally get to meet someone from the village. So why do you dudes stand around in the middle of this blizzard? The brave voice. Is that you, Isu? What in the world are you doing with that strange white wolf? That's not your business, pal! Anyway, what's with this village? It's a total mess! Is it true demons have taken over Izo Fuji? You must have been gone for some time if you don't know that. Any questions for when you get back to your own village? That is, of course, if it hasn't already been buried by the snow. Oh, and take that suspicious wolf with you, too! Why, you little... We're not talking to you! Let's into the chief's house now! No. You may not pass. We normally don't let strangers into the village. And I told the villagers not to let them into your houses. They'll obey me. For I am Semical, chief of left here. Now be on your way! Hold on a second! You! Chief! What happened to old man Kimu? He didn't buy the farm, did he? Well, of course he's still alive. But he's been greatly weakened battling the demons. Now their hideout monsters are trying... Their hideous monsters are trying to finish him off. Since only the Elder's volcanic incantation can foil their plans. That's why I became chief of the village. I must protect the Elder from the monsters looking in every corner. Now be on your way! No. Big God! What? So how do I get through you? I can't believe I'm doing this. What the fuck? <laughs> I just wanted to. <laughs> I don't think we can do much. Oh gosh, that was funny. Wait, huh? Can you say anything else? Oh gosh. Where's my typical? You have to make you! I sense extraordinary power in this wolf. But if you don't heed my warning, I'll devour you where you stand. Now be on your way. You're still as stubborn as a meal, I see. Come on, Ami! I hide with this village! Yeah, I'm alive. Oh, I'll save my progress just so it's to be safe. Let's go on, Kim. I'm 
trust you. Otherwise, there is no bath on me. Now let's get to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about those demons that are playing Kamoi. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Lechku and Netsku, they were sealed away by a brave Oina hero years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Wauk Wauku Shrine ever since. Then one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A turbo blizzard descended upon Kamoi. Kamoi sent... sent... Kamu, sorry. Kamu set out for the shrine at the top of Ezofuji to pacify them. But they nearly killed him. He was no match for their evil magic. Temical managed to get him on just in time and bring him back. Then they even got more violent and turned Ezofuji into a glacier. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamui in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Samuko is trying to protect the village while Kamui recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fi fix if old man Kamui's players don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard what sounded like an earthquake from Senchu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kamui declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamui. Kamui is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness. And there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamoi now. A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into the Waku Shrine and as if it did, it's been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. God, there's something else I want to ask you. What's Oki doing with the sacred sword Kuntone? I saw him with it outside the village. How can Old Man Kim and let him take it at a time like this? Oh! You met Oki? We left here with our sacred sword the morning after it all started. As soon as Samuko was chosen to take Kimu's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He's just walking away with the sacred sword! He didn't even ask permission! Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Samuko does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. Now of all times. One last thing, Kamu Kamui. It's about Samuko. He seems awfully nervous about protecting old man Kimu. It's because of Oki, isn't it? Well, everyone's angry at Oki for taking the sword like that. But you see, well, Samuko would never say it. But he believes in Oki more than anyone else does. He's convinced Oki will come back and help the village. So then why do you have to snap, snap at us like that? He even told Furball here to get lost! Well, the day after the village was attacked by the demons, Lika went missing. Lika! I said, Lika, you're... That's right. My little sister. We scored the village and the surrounding area, but we couldn't find her. She just... Vanished. That poor little Lika too! Why would those demons mess with the little girl like that? We don't know for sure if the demons are behind her disappearance. But they would certainly have re have reason to seek her out. You see Lika? Lika holds the fate of the village in her hands. The fate of this village? That was Kimu's howl! He's going to you, Isun! He's selling the both of you! He was calling for you two. He's been out cold for ages, but it sounds like he's coming to. You better not keep him waiting. You don't want to be rude. Okay. Hey, Mark. My mouth is starting to get dry. That's a lot of talking. This way. Why are you so mad? You still got a bone to pick with us or something? The other summons the white wolf to his home. You may enter. Well, it's about time! Ah, we jump! What are you glaring at? The old man wants to see us! We'll let ourselves in! Then don't keep the elder waiting! And if anything else would happen to him, you'll answer to me! 
man, grumpy. <laughs> the belly button, I don't think I've noticed that before. This is the village elder, old man Kimu, but it looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. How many times has Gramps here tan my hide? Ah, uh, there's this is no time to be dredging up the past. Who was the bad mouthing me? Looks like there are some kind of hides to be tanned! since I last saw you. A book card that, Gramps! Did you someone else just cause you wanted someone to clobber? Oh, yes. Let's get down to business, eh? It's the white wolf I wish to speak with. You no doubt already heard this from Kai, but here, but her little sister, Lika, has gone missing. Yeah, we know about that. She disappeared about the time the demon started running amok. That's right. And his appearance threatens the very existence of our village. I said something like that too. I can't see why you'd be so worried. But don't you think you're exaggerating a little bit? No, you're not exaggerating. Besides, you've been gone so long, how could you possibly know? Lika's gained spiritual power far beyond my own. Her power is now the key to save the land of Kilmoy. Because power can defeat those demons? Not exactly. But there's another reason we need her power. It's for Iso Fuji, the protector deity of Kamui. Iso Fuji? As you know, Iso Fuji is formed from two active volcanoes. Each year, I recite the volcanic incantation. That triggers an eruption that warms this frigid land of Kamui. But the demon's power has plunged the Sofuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, Kamui grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If we don't have Lika recite the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kamui will become an icy tomb for us all. Why did you just recite the incantation yourself, old man? I would if I could! But I no longer have the strength to pray in this raging blizzard. Any idea where Lika could be? That's the problem! We search high and low for that girl with no luck. Still, there's one place we have yet to look. Where? Yushpet, the mysterious forest of deception. I caught a faint whiff of Lika's emanating... emanating from Yushpet. I don't know what that word is. After all, I do have the keenest nose of all the Oina tribes. I suspect she could be somewhere around here on your map. Right there. Remember that ship for later. I'd like you to conduct a thorough search for that forest. You gotta be kidding me! I wanna touch that place with a ten foot pole! Oh, White Wolf, you're our last hope. Not me! Two Sam Gold must remain here for protecting the village. Yoki has left the village on some fool's errand. You're the only one left. Hold on, moment, old man. Do you even know who this furball is? Don't mock me, little spirit. That pure white coat, those crimson markings, and that divine instrument. This is no other than the legendary wolf Shuranui. That name is known far and wide, even this distant land of Kamoi. But I never dreamed the legend wolf yet lives. Well, actually, this here is Shuranui. Please, you must help us. Lika must recite the volcanic incantation soon. Without her, the land of Cowboy will become my ice become an icy tomb. I beg you, you must find Lika. I've warned the villagers to be wary of strangers. But I'll make a special exception for you. And I'll open the villagers' far gate that leads to Lat 
Bouchy Lake. You should get what you need from the village before you set out. I don't doubt Lika is in the mysterious forest we go through, but it's a dangerous place to which we rarely dare venture. Please, Sharon Nui, you must lend us your strength. If we do, if we don't have Lika recite the... Who said that? I'll see if he said anything new. Check up here. Not much we can do now, but I figure I'd show you this place. This is the altar where the sacred star Kut Kutani was enshrined. There's a great view of Lauchi Lake and Izo Fuji from here. That's why they come here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It says the Ark has been frozen in Lake Lauchi, Lauchi Lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it down here in the frozen lake. That's the Ark of Yamato. He's a Fuji and the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place for the Oena tribe. I can't want to check up this way. You're raccoons, right? You don't like raccoons. Shrine. But they keep the gate shut tight to prevent unwind visitors. I believe it's this one. Yes. Oh, I have to check in here. I know who you are. Yes, the divine look of yours is unmistakable. You're the legendary white wolf, Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard that name here, too! Why, it's about Shiranui's legend did pass across the Sea of Tamoy. It just really resonates with the Oida because they're so spiritual. Oh, Isu! It's been quite a while, so you're still alive. I just left on a little trip, that's all. Well, I'm glad to see you safe. As you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamui. Since the monsters were revived, many people have lost their lives. Yeah, I've heard all about that. So what's up with those two demons coming back? And where the heck is Lika? Hmm. The demons have shut themselves up in Shizofuji's Waku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging through Kamui. 
we're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afun Gate. But when the day comes, Kamoe is sure to freeze over completely. That's not what worries me most, though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kiba noticed that as well. But just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern land. We both felt an evil energy flowing into Kamoi. That's when the demons woke up. As if it's in response to it. Sutherland! Oh, she must be Nippon! In other words, she's talking about the return of Orochi, I mean. There's been so many monsters here in Kamoi that some people even call it the birthplace of evil. I can't help thinking all this havoc in Nippon has its roots in Lachi Lake. The eternal frozen lake of the foot of Izofuji. There is a large lake called Lauchi at the foot of Izofuji. I think the reason Kamoi is called the birthplace of evil is because of the Ark of Yamato that rests in that lake. The Ark of Yamato? Anyone from Kamoi knows that story! It said that the legendary Iron Ark fell from the heavens! My grandpa used to tell me that story! Long ago! In the Age of Myths, an iron ark fell from the celestial plane above and sunk into Lauchi Lake. The celestial plane is the land above where gods dwell. The gods are known as Celestials there. The ark that the Celestials were on came crashing down to down here. It was as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by line they were consumed, so all the Celestials were dead. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started rampaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. It's said that monsters still rise from the lake's depths. That must be why they call it the Lake of Demons. That's all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that. And that's the story of the one surviving celestial of the Ark. The Ark fell to this world from the celestial plane. He was full of monsters, which killed the less celestial on board. But the legend tells that there was one man who survived. He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. I've heard that. They say the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark of Lauchi Lake is that the ruler of darkness is still searching for that man. Ruler of darkness? Does he have a name? It's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world, that's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamoi, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. I apologize for chaining so much. Now, if you come all this way, am I to assure you that Ken Lu's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yoshpet, the forest of confusion. Yep, that's right. I really couldn't care less, but on me, here's another story. The entrance to the forest is sealed with the Oina crest. It's our way to protecting the place from evil. There's no way I can break that seal. But if the Elder has ordered your entry, then I must comply. Sure, Nui? You may have the Owena amulet. See you up for all With that amulet, you can pass by the Owena crest unhindered. And you can proceed on into Yoshpe. If the Elder has deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. You're the only one who can find Lika. Find her before it's too late and Cowboy freezes over. Man, so much talking. Honestly, I think I want to save the trip to Yosh Pet for the next episode. Because I've gone to my usual recording limit. So in the next episode, we're going to head to Yosh Pet and find Lika. Game 405 3 signing out.